conclude a lot of metal in it. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Half fast, 719. Uh, good morning. It's about 845 in the morning. Fireworks were going off last night everywhere. But I slept right through them. Anyway, because I was wore out. The heat and project crack pipe wore me out. Anyway, you guys know what time it is. Proyek crack pipe, as my friends say, Proyek project crack pipe. So this morning or last night, my kid helped me put the bed on. <coughs> so since I moved that bar right here, this bar that holds the fuel cell, fuel tank, um, it actually when I used the clamp, the clamp hold the frame in which is good um, gives it more strength I guess more rigidity so uh, basically I'm gonna have to redrill these holes here because you, you can see how far they're off now I'll have to take a final measurement though these holes are fine I did uh make some half inch spacers so I found an old body mount from my Toyota my Toyota I had an 87 Toyota I did a lift kit body lift lift kit everything so this was a two inch spacer so I cut it cut it down to one inch and then cut it in half to uh, half inch so that's giving me the the height I need. However, I think I'm gonna have to go a little higher because if you look at the the bed line where the bed's gonna be, the flatness of the bed, and I, I might barely, barely clear. Um what I'm running into is the the ports for the for the uh, air airbags seems like they might hit so what I might do is I might take these half inch put them in the front and then make some uh, one inch spacers for the rear um, yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a little do do diddly. I'm going to pull the pan off the rear and uh, pretty much drain the rear diff, get her all drained, and check it out and see what kind of damage is in there from doing burnouts when it was on the 91. By the way, this chassis, if you don't know. That 91 Chevy that's doing the burnout in my intro, that's this chassis. 
it's a five speed so it was kind of hard doing a doing a little power break so anyway let me get it all jacked up and uh, yeah we'll go from there All right, guys, what I thought was a magnet is not a magnet at all. <clears throat> Has no, if you can see that, <laughs> I have no clue what it is yet. So, somewhere in there, this washer shim thing goes in there. I don't know where, but I'm gonna find out. So let me get in there and see what's going on. Well guys, looks like I have suspicion to believe that this washer here is supposed to go on those spider gears. <clears throat> there and I got nothing there. <laughs> people, man. 
people with dumbs. I don't know if you saw that or not. I'm gonna clean my hands and take you take you guys off the pod try. Show you what the heck is going on here. It's probably why the truck was pulling. It's pulling hard to the to the left. Okay. So man, I gotta get in here. Bear with me, bear with me. Oh boy. Ugh. Feel like an Olympian going over the hurdles. So, I don't know if you can see. I can barely see. Looks like we got one of those shimmy things up there. And then down here, we don't have nothing. Yay! That's why I hate certain type of people that work on cars. <laughs> why would they just go and say, oh, let's just leave it out? That makes sense. <sighs> we can't get it in. Just leave it out. Just leave it out. Somebody else will fix it. Sounds like the story of my life. The story of my life. <sighs> Alright. So that'll probably give me the proper whatever opinion angle who knows what who knows what's going on in there so let me get some stuff chunk of metal right here let me get some stuff uh wrench i think that's a 10 could be a 10 pull that pin out pull the other pin out and stick that washer in there i'll be back all right, so that bolt is a 10 millimeter. So, oh. spin this axle till that thing falls out. Take this freaking washer. That hard. Freaking Yahoo's. Sometimes I wonder how I keep them going under. Anyway, put it in right. We tighten this bolt. Clean it again. And clean it again. And clean it again. And you're done. Or in someone else's case. You crap out, seal it, and you're done. D U M B. Done. Anyway, well, that's good. At least I found that. That's this is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to take this apart. I wanted to take it apart because I mean, if something in here wasn't right, because it would, would pull. Ow. It would pull to, I think it would pull to the left. If my oh, memory serves me right. Okay. It's not that hard, people. Didn't seem that hard to me, did it to you? Anyway. Clean this crap one more time. Where all the metal shavings came from. That piece. Sounds a heck of a lot better. Might not to you, but it does to me. Anyway, put that in there. I'll go get me a razor blade and start cleaning the gasket off. Maybe I'll leave the razor blade in there because it's easy. All right, now that you got it all together. pieces are in and uh, surface is super clean all the way around took a wire brush same thing with the the pan cover which you probably can't see so I'm gonna take a bolt or two and I'm gonna stick it on 
fit it in there. I'll have to check it out. Oh. Anyway. So you can see, well I can see anyway. There's a bunch of gouges. Gouges, dents. All kinds of crazy crap in here from that uh, from that piece. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with a bolt on the bottom. Do it, do it, do it. Alright, got the diff all cover all painted. So, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave it like this for a little bit. And uh, I have to rethink uh, that gas cap thing in my jigger over there because, uh, yeah, poor planning as usual. By the way, and I'm just going to add some, uh, I don't know, some thick gear oil in there. Put some thicker gear oil in that beast and uh, hopefully. Everything will last. Just charging batteries. Um, but alright guys, that's going to be it for this video of the uh, rear diff issue. Um, basically, it's probably why the uh, rear U joint was probably blown. Because the uh, that little washer or whatever, that shim spacer probably got wedged in there somewhere and it bound up. Who knows? Surprised didn't break more stuff. Um, but anyway, this video is going to be titled, uh, If You Get Something Fixed and You Hear a Noise, Bring It Back. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Make sure you guys go check out my giveaway video. I know I keep mentioning this. At 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away one of these stall bus quick drain drain plugs. Um, you just tell me what size you need in the comment. You go find that video giveaway stall bus. And uh, you tell me what size you need. M14 by 1.5. M16 by 1.25. I don't even know if that's a size. Um, 
standard metric. I think it doesn't matter. I think they make all of them. And uh, yeah, in that video, comment what size you need, year, make, model, and engine of the vehicle that's going on. And uh, at 2,000 subscribers, be giving one of those away. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thank you. Later.